All right, so this is my Reman compressor. It's a 277731, and I said, hey, it's this assembly is on backwards. That has to be on the other side. And they said, well, that's a 277730. So I got looking on the internets, and no, that's not correct. The 731 is supposed to be facing the other way. Um, so rather than send this clear back, I'm going to take the gasket crankcase cover off. I'll have to undo the rods and then take the cylinder base bolts off. And I'll have to lift the whole assembly up, turn it around, put it back in. And they are going to send me these two gaskets in order to do that. Now, one of the things that concerns me about this is I think it's been sitting on the shelf forever. Because this grease, whatever it is they put in there, is hard as a rock. So when we get it open, we'll see... I might be taking this cover off and pulling the whole crankshaft out the back and cleaning it up. I'm interested to see what the cylinders look like. I don't want to take the pistons out, but if I have to, uh, I don't know, it just depends. If they're rusty in there or something, then I'm putting it back together and sending it back to them. But anyway... Let's get a wrench and start taking this stuff apart. Let's see, it looks like I need a 9 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths to do this. So let's get this off. gonna ruin that gasket yeah so they said they use copper coat on these gaskets and that that's what they want me to use not silicone so that's what I'll do if that's what they want me to do this huh looks clean in there it does it does it's got locks on the rod bolts. Cylinders look good. They've just got uh, white assembly grease in it, and that's not hard. But out front, for some reason, it's got that hard goop. So I'll just have to clean that off the best I can, I guess. Mr. Griffey's out here with me. He's been hiding bones and eating them. Those things swell up in his stomach really big. And he's had his dog food this morning. So, hope he don't puke because he tends to do that when you feed him too much. One thing about a corgi is they're always hungry and they're always sleepy, huh? Aren't you? And then they want to play. And then they want to play, don't they? Yeah. I told. Miss Paydirt, I don't know how long he'll last out here with me, but I'll bring him. I don't think he's going to last long. He'll either be good and sit down or he'll be whining at me and bugging me, and I'm going to have to take him back to the house. Be my guess. That's what he's going to do. But it's a crappy day. The rain moved in yesterday and rained all night and we got like a 90 percent chance today so matt can't work it's uh friday today i really really wanted to get this compressor stuff out of my hair and uh get working on the scraper to figure out why i'm putting antifreeze in the oil
See if I can get all the residue, copper junk off, and the gas fuzz. All right, well, probably about the best we're gonna do there for right now. So let's get this out of here and dump stuff off. Get out the vacuum. See if I can get the stuff out of there. I'm gonna have to, once I get it apart, I have to set the block aside and go to cleaning in here. That's quite dirty. I probably should have told them to send me some new locks too. Okay, so they do have tabs in them. There's particles of shit on the bearing, of course. Gris over there laying on the concrete just looking at me. Kurgis have a a sulk mode. Ah, his eyes are going shut. He's gonna go to sleep on me. Oh, here's something. You hear a kitty, Mr. Griff? Yeah, do ya? You hear a kitty? You go get him. All right, now, what I'll have to do is tip this up. If I can make it stay put. Ooh. Undo these. You wanna go outside and check for kitty kitties? All right. So. Here a week ago, we really had to watch him when he was outside because we had a pack of coyotes across the house in that field. And early in the morning and towards the evening, man, you could hear him over there. You could actually see him. So we had to make sure that we were outside with him because I know those coyotes would come and get him. He'd be a tasty little snack. Anyway, I haven't seen or heard him lately. The neighbor was riding these horses and he had a bunch of dogs and one day they were after those coyotes. So I don't know if that scared them off or, or what, but I haven't heard from them since. She comes. There we go. We're out. I think. Out. Just gotta get the rods up. Okay, there it is. Got a nice hone finish on the walls of the cylinders. Hmm. Okay, so now let's take this. See, this is the this is a problem I'm going to have is trying to keep that crap out of there. Hmm. Alrighty, I've taken the crankshaft out of it. So I washed this and washed this, but I still got this white hard residue, so I'm going to have to scrape that all off. 
Got the crank out. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll basically end up washing the whole bottom end up, reassembling it with some assembly lube, some of that white grease. And uh, probably clean this again, blow it out. Okay, crankshaft's cleaned up. The only concern I have with this one is there was a plug in the end of the crank right here. And my other one does not have a plug. Now they have an O-ring here that seals them. And then there's an oil hole. Where is that? Right there. But I'm not sure that that's big enough to supply oil through all this. I think all this is for is to run oil up in here and lubricate the teeth. I think you've got to have that plug out to provide enough volume through here because that's drilled all the way through, provides oil for your front bearing, your rod bearings, and then it comes out the back here and into the rear housing and lubricates that bearing, which is this one here so you only have uh engine oil pressure to lubricate this and you need good flow we found that out on number two years ago before we even took the engine apart it kept throwing rods through the compressor blocks and we put a pressure gauge on the end of this and could only get about five psi we ended up taking one of the drilled eighth inch pipe plugs out of where it goes inside the drive gear and i put shop air in there in blue and you could tell it was restricted then all of a sudden something something went poof and then it was clear and that engine had been assembled with liberal amounts of blue silicone and we found that a lot of that in the sump screen when we overhauled the engine and i think a piece went up through the passage and there's a big idler gear and it has it rotates and the oil comes in and then it comes inside the gear and pushes oil pressure in here to lubricate the compressor well anyway after i blew through it we put a pressure gauge on it and we had like 15 20 pounds of oil pressure at idle which is plenty and no more problems so silicone's bad stuff if you put too much on and it squeezes out <clears throat> anyway it gets inside of everything and that's why these guys don't want you to assemble with silicone <sighs> see that's just not threaded that's a big oil hole so i'm going to leave that plug out I, I i think if you left the plug in i think you would destroy the compressor is what I think would happen. So I don't know if the ball bearing is a better design or that bushing is. I kind of like the ball bearing because of the size of it. So <clears throat> I've done about all the damage I can do here until I get those gaskets and then I can put it back together. Mm -hmm.